Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be talking about the Hindustanis, which is the new and reworked Indians. Uh, this is not a DLC sieve, it's just part of their big patch that's coming out soon. When's the patch coming out actually? Let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of lost on that. But yeah, it's um, a big patch, Indians completely reworked and uh, there's a lot of changes I want to talk about. My claim before I make this video or like to start off this video, I believe Indians become an insane civilization. Like I'm talking top 10 uh, civilization, maybe even top five for 1v1s. That, that's what I think at least. I think top five 1v1s may be a stretch, but definitely top 10 1v1, almost guaranteed from what I see. And I'll, I, I, will say, uh, I will say sorry if I'm wrong on this one, but I'm pretty sure this Civ becomes really, really strong from all these changes. So we're gonna break them down to you guys, and you guys can let me know if you agree or not with the claim. Uh, that's my stance right now, and I'm really excited to test them out actually. Big fan of the Indians in general. But let's go through some of the changes here. I have, uh, I'll read them out to you, but feel free to open up a tech tree if you want as well. Uh, you can find those online. Um, okay, so the big loss, so the, the big nerf to the sieves, that, there's two actually. Um, the camel pierce armor, they used to have camel and light cap, so plus one pierce armor in castle age and plus two pierce armor in imperial age to their mounted or stable units rather. Um, that's completely gone, so they removed that, which I think is a healthy change. That, that, that thing was... That thing was really strong in Castle Age and just, it seemed like too unfair to play against. So that's a good change, um, in some ways unfair. Um, like the light cap, I, I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm glad they took that off. Now Turks is the only one with a uh, cracked Pierce Armor light cap in Castle Age. And they also, they also lost Parthian tactics. So the cab archers in late game are no longer like really strong. They're still good, they're still a viable option, but they're not the go-to anymore. But they did get some other options to compensate this. They also lost the Elephant Archer from the castle, which I think I've only ever seen that unit do work in that one Red Bull game that MBL beats Leary with Elephant Archers, and I made fun of Leary night and day. Not really, I just called him a dumbass for losing that, uh, and that was... Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, that, that was a funny game, shout out to MBL for that, it was a good performance. Um, but yeah, that's the only time I really saw that unit do well from the castle, um, and so it's not a big loss. So that's the things that the, that the Indians lost. Uh, they also lose the, the the rams, but they get the armored elephants. Hard to say if that's a good thing or bad thing. What do you guys know? What do you guys think about the um, the armored elephant? By the way, the little ram elephant. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna, I want to make a video about it. I just don't know much about it yet. I am researching though. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. So anyways, that's the losses. That's all the civ loss as far as nerfs go. Now let's take a look at their gains because these are absolutely insane. So the first bonus that they get is a civ bonus. Camel riders attack 25% faster. So that's not only good against Knights, it's also good against the civs that they don't count, uh, the units that they don't counter, like elephants into, let's say, uh, crossbows. Yes, they don't have that plus one pierce armor, but if you get up close, you attack faster, so you can actually thin them out quicker. It's hard to quantify how good this bonus is, but I found one bonus that actually, the, like, or one reason why this bonus could actually be really good. So basically, the team bonus for the civ is remain the same. Camels and light cav, plus two attack versus buildings. Now combine that, with a camels attacking faster, you're gonna be able to shred buildings. This is especially good for team games. Imagine you're in the pocket position with Indians or Hindustanis, and you're going camels. You win a fight, and you're trying to break into some guy's base, or the pocket player's base, or the flank, it doesn't matter. If you're trying to break into a base, you can absolutely destroy their ranges or their stables. Like, you can completely destroy them from the outside with the sieve, and you can break in and even take out town centers super fast with the camels and castle and imperial age. So, this is an absolutely insane bonus to get attack speed, and I think the biggest reason why this would be strong is that building uh, pressure that you can get, both in 1v1s, but I see it mainly in team games. All right, the next bonus, and this is a Civ bonus, gunpowder units plus one, plus one armor, so plus one melee, plus one pierce armor. Now, this, this isn't amazing, but I think it's a nice thing to have in late game, and it makes you more resistant against skirms and arbalests for the most part uh, when it comes to hand cannons, so, um, that's like the best use that I can see for this, that you know, your hand cannons are actually going to be really good against Arbalest and Skirms, as well as infantry that they're already good against. And the reason why they're good against Arbalest and Skirms, which you might not like immediately think like why, is that their, their unique tech gives them plus two range now. It used to be plus one range for hand cannons, now it's plus two range, their Imperial Age unique tech. I'm not sure if there's a cost increase or decrease, because I don't have access to that right now, I, don't, I couldn't check. Um, but the, the tech gets an extra range to the uh, hand cannons. Why is this absolutely insane? Because now the hand cannon is at nine range, guys. Arbalest and skirms for a generic sieve, eight range. So your hand cannons not only shred infantry, do high damage versus cavalry, they actually outrange most range units. So th this is like, f like phenomenal. Not only that, but like combine the range with the plus one pierce armor that you get 
And I think the hand cannons, especially with the recent change to the gunpowder uh, projectiles, like moving faster, which happened like a few months ago, like hand cannons become a really viable option with the civilization. So the late game is absolutely insane. Um, they also, before I talk about the Gulam, they also got the last armor upgrade for the uh, camels or for the stable units. Yeah, just the last cab archer. Uh, sorry, the last cab armor from the blacksmith. I confuse a lot of people here. They got the last cab armor from the blacksmith that they uh, initially didn't have or before. So that's their camels and, and hussars are back to being fully upgraded. So that's pretty insane as well. So overall, the changes are like really, really strong. But let's let's talk about the Gulam for a second. They literally gave the civilization a husk roll. Now I hope you've been watching the gameplay in the background here, guys. Uh, the chakram is really strong at almost everything like they destroy archer units like they absolutely destroy it it, it runs super fast like let's watch let's watch this fight here versus generous crossbow obviously this is a mismatch generous crossbow are like completely bad against this unit but look at this if you get up close obviously the guy's gonna try to kite but you run faster you absolutely decimate archer units now why is this so important to like have a unit like this a it gives you a lot of flexibility now you're not necessarily going for camels and heavy uh, heavy cab archer you have the option of going for the chakram uh, which is actually like a super strong unit now, like in general. But it also counters halberdiers really effectively, uh, hal halberdiers and arbalest, that is, which is the two main counters to their imperial camel. So having a unit like this available, and it's super cheap, by the way, it costs 30 food and 45 gold. It's absolutely insane. And you can see the stats as he clicks them um, after before every fight. It's it, it's really, really a, a powerful unit, and I'm, I'm surprised they gave Indians such a, such a, an option to go for. Keep in mind, you don't have the last infantry armor from the blacksmith, so they're not as strong as they potentially could be. But I, I think that they're still really good, and they seem to only be losing fights against strong infantry units and against cavalry units. But it's okay, because against the strong infantry, you go for the hand cannons, and against the strong cavalry, you can easily go for your camels. So you have plays. So all in all, Indians went from this kind of one trick pony of like heavy cab archer plus hussar slash camels to now they can do absolutely anything like their eco bonus still remains it's still really strong um they get the hand cannons that are now really strong as well in late game they have the hussar and camels that are just as strong as ever maybe slightly less uh but the camels now attack faster they get this husk roll like unit as well i mean i don't know guys I i'm really excited to try the civilization out i think it's going to be really strong i expect it to get nerfed in some ways shortly after release that's my opinion but I don't know. Let, there's no facts in this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll leave it open to various opinions, and I'd like to see different perspectives. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but I'm pretty sure this uh, civilization is looking really good right now, especially because of this unique unit that gives them a lot of options and also covers a lot of their weaknesses as well, uh, which I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased to see. Um, but yeah, that's all I had for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the civilization, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.